Hi, my name is Peach, let me not waste your time. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Reactor in DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know what Reactor is, Reactor is a script that allows you to download nodes from a library of effects and tools that you can use in your projects. In order to download it, what you're going to do first is hit the link in the description and it will take you to the We Cycle Less website page where you can download Reactor by just scrolling down and hitting this button. Once you have it downloaded, you can take the script file and drag it into the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. All you got to do is hit install and launch and it should go through the installation process. Once you're done, you'll have this window pop up and from here you can scroll through all the effects and install whatever effect you want by hitting the checkmark button next to the name. Most of the nodes on the list are free, but some may install you need in the studio version. You just gotta test it out, click the checkmark box and see if it works. But if not, you do need the studio version. And if we do choose to download an effect like this one over here, and it asks for a donation, all you have to do is hit this button and it will start installing. Once you've downloaded what you wanted, you will have to restart DaVinci in order for it to pop up in your effects library. If you want to reopen the reactor panel, all you have to do is go to workspace, go down to scripts, hit reactor, and hit open reactor. Now the top five effects and tools I suggest getting from reactor is first, kick-ass shaders. This gives you a bunch of textures, presets that you can use for 3D shapes and 3D text inside of Fusion. The second tool I would suggest getting is the Focus Gamma, which is the best blur in the program, in my opinion. I have a tutorial on that if you'd like to see how I use it. The third tool I would get is the Resolve Essentials. This tool allows you to put certain nodes on your Fusion graph by hitting a keyboard button you assign to the tool. The fourth tool I would suggest getting is the Gradient Mapper tool. It basically allows you to recolor your scene depending on the range of luminance values in your image. And at last but not least, the fifth tool you should get is the XGlow tool. It is a very powerful glow tool you can use if you can get the hang of it. If any are questions or suggestions of what I should do in the future, please let me know down in the comment section. If you'd like to join the Resolve Amy Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.